Uh, okay, so my name is Sebastian Popovic, I'm uh, coming from uh, Zipato and I would like to present you uh, our Zipato system uh, which is based on our uh, Zipato uh, modular home controller. This is uh, basically our flex flagship product which we are selling uh, already for a year in Europe. We would like to start doing it in US uh, this year as well. It's a modular, completely, uh, so completely modular controller which could be attached and deattached to its own extension modules, like this. So this module is uh, primarily speaking Z-Wave, but can speak Zigbee as well, or uh, probably KNX, if you attach KNX module to it, or uh, it, you can also attach some additional modules on the left side, like the backup module, which contains a battery, now explain that one because that's an interesting one. Yeah, this one is basically uh, the module which uh, uh, having a battery inside, uh, providing a power for the main unit for up to 20 hours. It also provides RS-232 and RS-485 port, so you can attach the whole composition to existing DSC or Paradox alarm panel. And you can also find a USB port on it, which you can use for attaching a 3G or 4G uh, USB dongle. Uh, which provides you with an alternative connection to a cloud. So if you do that, you have a connection of, uh, of, uh, for your controller, which goes through a 3G. And then this is connected to a cloud, which is providing 24-7 monitoring of the whole composition and the whole installation. So that's primarily installation. used uh, as a security function. Is there an extra layer of security software? There is a it? software which allows you to... Uh, there is a software inside which allows you to... Just a second, please. No, but is there... Is, is there special software to make this more secure for your security system? Ah, yes, I mean, there is a, inside the main unit, there is a, there is a special lo so, uh, security logic which allows you to add unlimited number of partitions and into each partition you can add unlimited number of zones. Uh, also, you can use any Z-Wave or, or, or uh, Zigbee or any other device which is connected to a system to become part of the security system. What is most important, you can also use virtual IP devices to be part of the security system. Once you add them into the system, it is extremely easy to arm and disarm the system by just using our mobile application. So you can actually, this system is right now armed, if you want to disarm it, you can just enter your PIN code. PIN code is securely stored on the device, on the zipper box itself. So you approach directly zipper box, uh, authenticate yourself, and then afterwards you can see all your zones over here, which you can bypass if you don't want to arm them. And you can also see all the events which were happening through the time. And do you recommend that people use 0000 as their password? Actually, I, I, I'm using it because it's easier to, remind, <laughs> to remember. Otherwise, I would never remember it on these kind of shows. <laughs> so, yeah. Also, you can combine this whole system right now, security system of yours, with a, a monitoring um, uh, of uh, any IP cameras. So, all together, if you combine them, together with our rule creator, you can create a rule which will send you a picture whenever you like. For example, a uh, good uh, option is to get the picture on your phone whenever your alarm system is tripped. So besides getting a picture on your email, you can also have your system to call you on your, mo on your mobile phone so that you can check it out your email where you just got the picture on, uh, from your Zipato. So basically, system is chasing you once after uh, there is an uh, alarm trip inside your home. To create your own rule, you can use our web-based application, which is very easy to be used. When you want to get this picture or something, you can use uh, just the graphical blocks and put and use them as puzzles like when for example some sensor whatever sensor you choose you just need to put it in a uh, in a puzzle which has a certain shape which fits into another puzzle so i will take for example some of my sensors which i have here so one of my sensors could be a flood sensor so if there is a flood in my home I will just choose flood then I will choose some action puzzle which fits into this shape over here 
and this is action puzzle then I will choose among my devices some device which can do certain actions like for example I will take my siren I will put it on but besides that I can also do something like sending a message so I will use send message puzzle and I will configure it properly to send me an email or to just call me on my phone for this I just need to choose my phone and then I just need to write something over here some message and then text-to-speech message will be read to me on my phone one good example of that message I already mentioned could be for example uh, please check it out your emails because we just sent you an email with a picture attached of your home where you just got the flood 